Hey everyone, today is Saturday, November 17th. Um, I apologize for not having made a video in many days, um, since like Monday or something. Um, as you may or may not know if you've watched my videos previously, um, I went back to treatment on Tuesday. And I actually made a video for you guys on Wednesday morning, but um, I tried and I tried to upload it. It was really short because it was like in my car before I went inside. And um, I tried to upload it, but um, it wouldn't go for some reason. So um, I intended to keep you more updated than I have. But um, anyway, that didn't happen. So I apologize about that. Um, so yeah, um, it's I've been in treatment four days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, and I guess, um, for those of you that are just going to watch the first couple minutes to get an idea of what's going on, I guess the summary of it would be rough. <laughs> that would be the word, I think, that I would use to describe, um, the week. Um, Um, so, but here's the other thing, um, to say at the beginning, and I can elaborate in a minute, is that I kind of had an epiphany last night, um, I was texting my friend, <coughs> and she's one of my Zumba friends, and, um, it occurred to me that until losing my ability to teach Zumba, which is what I love to do, until that happened, I didn't really have a reason, no, like, a, a adequate motivation to tackle this eating disorder. And that's not to say that I'm exactly comfortable with the idea of recovery, because I don't even know what that means, but at least I just want the inside of my body to be, to get healthy, although I hate that word, but I still hate that word, but functioning would be a good way to put it. Um, so that's a start. Because I want my Zumba back. I really, really miss it. Um, so that's the quick summary for those of you that have to rush off. Um, so I guess to elaborate, there's tough things, like eating is hard, you know, um, it's scary, first of all, and second of all, my body is like, what the hell are you doing, like, what on earth is all this, I don't know what to do with it, um, my labs look fine so far, which is a relief, because I have a history of problems with refeeding syndrome, like my phosphorus dropping through the floor, and that hasn't happened, thank god. Um, I think the problem was the time this happened, I was refed too quickly, and I was really quite underweight at that time, like much, much more underweight than I am now. Um, if I even am now, I can't really say for sure. But um, so that's a relief that I haven't had any problems with my electrolytes. Uh, my vitals don't look so great. Um, Tuesday. I was orthostatic, Wednesday I was orthostatic, Thursday I wasn't, but yesterday I was and I was really peeved because the longer it takes my vitals to stabilize, the longer I'll be without Zumba. So, and that's different than all the previous times, which is actually what led me to the conclusion that I just stated a minute ago. All the other times I've been there, I've been like pissed off if I didn't have to have a Gatorade if I wasn't orthostatic because then that meant I wasn't sick anymore. And as long as I had to have a Gatorade, which is what they give you when you're orthostatic. As long as I had to have a Gatorade, then that meant I was still sick, which meant I was still thin, which actually doesn't even mean that at all. Like, rationally, that doesn't even mean that. Um, but it did mean I was still sick, though. Um, sorry, my chin itches. Um, so, this time, I have a little bit different of an outlook. I don't necessarily want recovery, because that's a really scary idea, um, mostly because I don't know what it looks like, 
I'm okay with the idea of getting the inside of my body working. Like, that my body, I want my body to do the things that, you know, a female body should do. Like, have periods. And, sorry for this grossness, you can plug your ears if you want. Um, but have periods and poop. I haven't pooped in like a week. And I've been eating for four days straight. <laughs> Lots of apples. So, anyway. I mean, I don't know what to do about that. Um, Wednesday I had really bad stomach pain. Like, really bad. I had to lay down on the floor after every time I ate. I managed to eat everything. Like, we measure it in percentages. Like, if, if you eat, say you have, like, a meal or, a bun you know, food, and you eat all of it. Then at checkout, you'd say, I ate 100%, and I feel like this. I feel uh, content or full or anxious or whatever you feel, you know? So all day on Wednesday, I ate 100%, but I was, like, almost crying because it hurt so bad. And it wasn't in my upper stomach. It was, like, down at the bottom in my lower stomach, uh, my, like, intestines. And they really, really hurt. And that's that happens to me every time. I don't know why I'm surprised, but it just really, really hurt. And then Thursday, it felt a little better still hurt, but yesterday was fine. It didn't hurt anymore. Um, but yeah, I can't seem to get my body moving things out. <laughs> so that's kind of frustrating and um, gross. And I'm sorry that if any of you are grossed out, but it comes with the territory of watching these videos, <laughs> just so you know. And um, yeah, so yesterday was particularly difficult in the afternoon. Um, my group, there's two groups, and um, the blue group and the green group. Mine's the green group. And, um, really nice people. I mean, there's, there's problematic people, you know, that are, like, but it's not, like, one person. Everybody is a problematic person at some time or other. In both groups, there's that, so, you know, it's just something you have to deal with. And I get triggered really easily, like, when people don't eat. It's really hard for me. And so, this whole week was tough. And then yesterday was, like, the accumul- the cumulative effect of all week of being triggered every single day and I was like ready to explode by the end of yesterday. I didn't, but we all had a rough afternoon like at checkout. <laughs> they combined the groups and you could really tell who was in what group because all of our moods were like down like on the scale. They make us like on a scale of one to ten, what's your mood? We were all like three, two, four, blah. And the other group was like nine, eight, and <laughs> it was really funny. Um, but but yeah, I'm making friends, and um, I don't know, I think even just wanting like internal health, like I don't want to gain any weight, I really don't want to gain any weight. They want me to weight restore, I don't want to, um, but I just don't want to think about that right now. <laughs> they haven't increased my exchanges at all, for which I'm glad, but um, it's kind of worrisome also, but anyway. I think even just wanting the internal health part is a, is a good step. Um, that's different than before. And, um, cause I just really want my Zumba back. I, before this, I've never really had anything at stake. Like when I go there, you know, I've never had anything that was taken away that I want back really bad. Um, this time I do. So Last night I came home and just like bawled my eyes out for like two straight hours. I was like freaking out. All I wanted to do was go to the gym. All I wanted to do was go find a Zumba class. All I wanted to do was go walk for three hours straight. And like I didn't do any of it. I have no idea how I didn't, but I didn't. So um, I, w I won't tell you that I've eaten 100% of everything every day, but it's been very close. Um, like while I'm in treatment, I eat everything. But while I'm at home, I don't always. So... Um, but, yeah, so that's kind of the little synopsis of the first week. And, um, yeah, I apologize for the long lapse between um, videos. I'll try not to do that again, but um, I'll at least make you a weekly update um, about stuff. So, all right, well, I hope you guys have a great weekend and um, that your week went well. And, um, yeah, leave me comments, send me messages, whatever you want. All right, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.